Hi, this is Tag again, and today I'm going to do part one of the PCIe 2.0 mod guide. Now, if you have been recently benching uh, PCIe Gen 2 GPUs on C690 or C790, or for that matter, C590 as well, you would have noticed that the GPU is going to be stuck at PCIe Gen 1.1, which is going to severely limit bandwidth and cost you a bunch of performance. So bunch of score basically. Now there is also going to be a video for AMD cards, uh, AMD 4000, 5000 and 6000 series, but I did not find that mod and the guy who found it, that's Forks uh, from Team Wag, he has not yet made it public. So I'm only going to do the video once he makes his findings public and the Nvidia part I discovered a lot of it myself. Uh, credit for the original sort of inspiration for all of this goes to uh, Salty or also known as Salty Croissant. He's a Canadian bencher, also from Team WAG. And he originally discovered that uh, Apple cards ran with PCIe 2.0 on set platforms. And from there, it was basically just a bit of a reverse engineering the BIOSes. And today I'm going to present you with the easiest solution to get 2.0 running on Tesla and Fermi cards. Now, for Tesla, the mod only has been tested so far on G200 based cards. Uh, GTX 260, 275 and 285 and for Fermi so far there is an exception for GF114 based cards. Those for some reason do not work with the mod but uh, GF100 works, GF116 works and GF110 works. Uh, I th think somebody tested GF104, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, so let's get into this. Let's start with putting these cards in the system and extracting our BIOSes. Okay, so here we are, booted up into OS. Let's open GPU-Z, which is going to be the tool we are going to use for saving our BIOS. Now in, in GPU-Z, you have this little box here that says save BIOS if you hover over it. Just Click save to file and name it whatever you want, MSI 285 and save. Now as you can already see here we are running 1.1 and if we start render test we're still running 1.1. So now I'm going to do the same for the 580. Okay so same thing Again, 4580, let's click Save BIOS and name it, I don't know, let's see, 580 and saved. Now you can also see that if you start a render test, still 1.1. This is on a C690 Apex, by the way. In case you want to see, come on, open up and mainboard Z690 Apex. So let's modify the BIOSes and then flash them. Okay, now so that we have pulled our BIOSes using GPU Z, let's open them with Nibitor. Now, this is Technically only designed for up to Tesla generation GPUs, but it also works for Fermi as you will see. Uh, I will leave the exact version I'm using in the description in a zip together with uh, the Envy flash you're going to need. So let's open our BIOS file. Yeah, I do. And let's start with Tesla, I guess. Now what you want to do is open the hex view 
right here. And then for Tesla, we only have to change one byte and that is byte 0x107. So let's go down 0x100, 0x108. So 107 would be this here. Uh, the current value is 7c and the value we need for PCIe Gen 2 to work this is tested on uh, GTX 260, GTX 275 and GTX 285 and all of those worked is FD. So let's change this to FD. Okay so now that you changed that one byte all you need to do is save the file. So let's go save files and I'm just going to name it 285 mod none. Now this is all you need to do for the Tesla card. Now I'm obviously going to show you how to flash BIOS now and show you proof that the card actually runs 2.0. Okay, so now for our Fermi card, same process, the theoretically incompatible BIOS editor, just using Nibitur version 6.06. .06. Open our BIOS. So SOC 580. And there we are. Now this time it's basically the same, but it's another byte that we got to change. It is byte 0x68. So this right here. Uh, now the value we need is CF. Now with the uh, Fermi cards as I mentioned previously there is currently a problem with GF114. Uh, so keep that in mind if the mod doesn't work and your GPU has a GF104 uh, core uh, it's very likely that's why and there is a decent chance that we are going to figure it out eventually, but currently it's not really a focus because neither GTX 560 nor 560 Ti are really popular cards. So after we've changed this, same stuff, just save BIOS. And this time I'm naming it 580 mod, done and done. And now I'm going to show you how to flash it again. Okay, I put the 285 in the system and put our modded BIOS and flash tool on a little bootable USB. Now if you're not sure how you make a bootable USB, it's basically just use Rufus and select bootable and FreeDOS. Or if you're still not sure, just Google for a guide. There is plenty of good guides out there how to make bootable USB sticks with DOS. There we are, USB 2.0 disk. Yes, German CDP2 is where I put our files. Let's look quickly at the directory. There we are. Now what we want to do is type anti-flash dash five dash six and then our BIOS name. So in this case it's 285 uh, mod and press enter. Confirm. And now it should update our BIOS. Now, that was surprisingly quick. Okay, so now let's just reboot and we should have A285 with PCIe 2.0 enabled. Now with the Tesla cards it's going to be a bit sort of wonky as you're going to see soon but it's real 2.0 uh, I tested it using a 4x slot to basically bottleneck the amount of lanes it has and you see a clear bandwidth increase and every tool out there also says that it's 2.0 so it's just going to look a bit odd as you're going to see right here Oh, tech power, yeah, GPU Z and credit card. As you can see, it says we have PCIe 
1.1 running at x2. Uh, doesn't change if we open render test or anything. But we are on a C690 board, so everything is legit. Here we are, main board, C690 Apex and an i3. So that's it for the 285. Now let's move on to the Fermi card and do everything all over again. There we go, UEFI disk. CD P2, that's where I put all the files for the project. Let's list them. There we have them. Now what you want to do is type envy flash dash 5 dash 6 and your BIOS name. Now this is the 580, so I'm going to type uh, 580 mod. Dot wrong. Now I'm going to leave the exact version of Envy Flash I'm using in the description below, together with the tool I used for modding it, so you have everything in one little zip file, so you can nicely and conveniently replicate my results. So let's press enter, confirm, and it should flash BIOS. Done. Let's reboot. And we should have a card with 2 check the disk. Okay, so moment of truth. Let's open the BOZ. And it should be 2.0 now. There we are. X16 at X16 2.0. Now it will start to throttle down to 1.1. I'm going to open my render test here so it doesn't do that. And just for extra proof, why did this open? No, I don't want to validate. Uh, we are on a Maximus Z690 Apex with an i3 and we are running 2.0. So yeah, that's it. And I hope you can easily replicate my stuff and I wish you a lot of fun benching these older GPUs on your brand new 39K or whatever you're going to use. Bye.